but I will now. Our warehouses are like the breathing lungs of the whole company. We issue about 100 products every second. Bam, bam, bam. We are sending 5,000 pretzels. Pretzels? Pretzels? Pretzels. Pretzels. Parcels. Parcels every day. And breathing is also one of the fundamental functions of the human being. And our next interview is going to be with Sensirion, who is an expert in air quality sensors. Have a pretzel. Inhale. <laughs> exhale. Inhale. Take it easy. I'm just having a pretzel. <clears throat> so we are here in Sensirion stand uh, in Electronic Affairs 2022 with uh, Mr. Stefan Richter. Uh, Stefan, why uh, Sensirion decided to focus on indoor air quality sensors? Actually, this is a trend that we have seen already for a long time. So um, clean air is very important for, for health of, of people. Now with COVID, the trend is even, even more, uh, it becomes even stronger. So we see that people understand in many countries that low uh, air quality, especially if you have you know, a lot of uh, you know, high CO2 level, that means the air that you breathe was already breathed in by other people. That means um, the risk of getting infected is very high. And this is not only true for COVID, it's the same for flu, for ASV. So many, many viruses are transferred this way. So there's uh, globally a lot of campaign to invest in, in, in better HVAC system, to have um, CO2 monitors around. So in Belgium, for example, it's now mandatory that you have in each public place a CO2 monitor. Mm -hmm. US government has founded uh, billions for schools, for public buildings, for, to increase air um, quality. Mm -hmm. So those are like the applications of exactly. the sensors. Maybe we can see some of them, the, sure. the different types. Can you present us uh, what uh, you have in the offer? Yeah, sure. So we can start um, here. We have, um, this is an, an, an VOC sensor. <laughs> so this is our SGP41. It detects beside um, um, VOCs, which are family of gases can be very harmful, also NOx. NOx is created when you, when you burn gas, for example. So here I can show you. So it's, but I need to, there we go. So now we should have a, yeah, and you see there's, there's some, uh, an increase in, in, the, in the level of, uh, takes some time. But you see, there's, it, it goes up. So the sensor detects there's, wow. there's, okay. there's an increase of uh, NOx. And now yeah, you can also clean it later on I mean, to get it out. But you see there's a deep increase. Mm -hmm. Then um, here what we have <laughs> is our humidity sensors. Humidity sensors? Exactly, humidity and temperature. So they show the, the relative humidity and also um, the <laughs> dew point. And um, yeah, you can, you can change the, the humidity level by, by opening the valve or closing the valve. And then you mm -hmm. see what you what you demonstrate. So, wait, sorry, yeah. those are inside of the tube, exactly. right? Okay. And what you see here, how how low the D2D is. So you really see that um, you know those sensors are all in the same range. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and uh, the same is for temperature. So, so the, those sensors are, are really I very accurate. I also see that you have your um, uh, sensor. Mm the software as well that you have developed. Yes, exactly. So this is something we provide to customers for free. You can download it on our homepage and you can buy for all of our sensors what we name a developer kit. So it's included a, a connector with, with USB. You can connect to your laptop and then you can read very easy out any kind of our uh, environmental sensors. Okay, is it also connected to the cloud or something? Can I access it? Uh... No, this is not okay. connected. To okay, the but uh, still, you'll connect yeah, directly it's, and... It's exactly, so the idea is really <coughs> that, you know, if you want, if you have an idea for a project and you want to start doing fast measurement, uh -huh. you can just uh, start with this uh, um, development kit. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, what would be the next one? So here we have the CO2 sensor. <coughs> it's... Uh, a photo acoustic sensor, so it's a new technology, new well, in the market. So the benefit of this technology is we can make the sensor smaller. We can also reduce the cost, so it can be used in, in, in more and more application. And um, you can see here, if I whoa, <laughs> we can we put some CO2 in the. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, it's a steep. Oh. You see, it's a steep raise, so it works. Um, so, so CO2 is mainly used as a proxy for air quality because, I mean, human being they exhale CO2, and the more CO2 in the air, 
you know, that means the more people are in the room, the more, you know, the, the air is already used. And it's then a good indicator that you need to ventilate or at least clean the air with an air purifier. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, and because of COVID, it's used more and more. Yeah, also uh, people is the fundamental uh, function, right, of breathing to calm down to... Exactly. And uh, if you are breathing something that from the highway or other viruses, so yeah, you and should take care I of it. Also, high CO2 at itself makes you sleepy. It's then t hard to concentrate, you make more errors, you, f you don't feel good, you can have a headache. So it's, it's always good to decrease the CO2 level. Um, <clears throat> is there um, any favorite uh, sensor or... Uh, yes, we're going that... coming here. <laughs> this is our Zen 55. It actually includes all the sensors that I just showed you. And on top of it, it has a particle matter sensor. So it, as you see, it's a module. So in there you have the the MOX sensor, which detects VOC, NOx, you have humidity temperature sensor, and you also have a particle matter sensor in there. And um, this is very handy for our customers, so you don't need to, to implement three different uh, modules in your device. You can just take one device, less cables, less mm -hmm. integration work, and it's all already um, optimized um, in this, in this, um, um, yeah, in this case, in this module. So that means there's compensation of humidity temperature in there. It's a plug and play um, um, solution. Okay, and maybe something for the future. Maybe something that you are uh, focusing in the future for develop I mean, or developing, or if you can tell us a, a sneak peek or something like that. I mean, as much as I can say that you see most of our components becoming smaller and smaller, and this is what we are aiming to. It's also to decrease the size of the particle matter sensor. We're working on this. And in the end, the goal is to make those sensors not only, of course, smaller, because so smaller means also more affordable, because we believe those, those sensors are really helpful for everybody, too, because we all need to have clean air. And the cheaper they are, the, the easier affordable they are, the more you will see them in, in, uh, in different applications. That's wonderful, Stefan. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome. <laughs>